gosh. Al Hayes, uh, what a guy. England, if you know who I'm talking about. He wrestled for, uh, worked as a manager or whatever up there for Vince McMahon later on. But for me, he was a manager, and I think he had just, I mean, he might have worked once in a while, but primarily he was there as a manager. English, so he's got this, to me, wonderful English accent. And he had so damn many great, great stories. He's like uh, Tinker Todd. You know who Tinker Todd is. Maybe some of you people do. Older guy, hasn't wrestled for 2,000 years. But, boy, he's got some stories that you just wouldn't believe. Well, Al was the same way. And uh, we used to do a little routine. When I was booking in the Carolinas and then coming down here to Atlanta to book, uh, we would fly on uh, Eastern. Uh, on Saturday morning, down to Atlanta to, pe to go to uh, the TV. And we developed this routine <laughs> that we just did with each other, uh, where Al would say, we'd be walking down the concourse. If anybody's been in the Atlanta airport, you know, you walk and you walk and you walk and you walk, and when you, after you get done walking a mile, you got more to go. You just walk for a long time. So Al and I, walking down the concourse, uh, he's talking to me. He said, uh, Ole, he said, uh, you haven't called Mother. I said, what? He said, uh, Mother has been asking about you. I said, well, I really haven't had the time. Now, people listening to this bullshit accent that I've got, his is legit, <laughs> they start hearing, you know, what we're saying. And, and you can see the people just kind of, you know, eavesdropping. So we're still walking down the Diagon Concourse, and uh, he said, well, Mother has been asking about you. She would just love to hear from you. Just give her a call, or maybe drop her a line. And I said, well, really, I haven't had the time. I've been too busy. You know, I've been going here, and I've been going there, and I've been doing all these things, and we're still walking down there. And the people are, yeah, it's kind of a nice little story that we're telling, and everybody's getting kind of interested in it. So we can see all the people. He said, well, uh, I really wish, I really wish you'd take some time and call Mother or, or write her. I said, how, how many times do I have to tell you? I've just been so busy. By now, we're going up the escalator where our bags are, if you know, if you're familiar with the Atlanta airport. So we get to the hop, top of that, and we've got a lot of shit that we're talking about, but finally we get to the top, and people are going to go in all kinds of directions. So here's where we come with the punchline. He said, well, what should I tell Mother? And I said, tell Mother to go fuck herself. Ah, <laughs> uh, if, you're, if you're flabbergasted by my using that word, but that's what we did. And the people that were just like this, waiting for the... Final thing that I'm going to do with mother is, oh God, they're just like they were hit with a dark <laughs> pile of bricks. Well, that was back in 80, 81 or 82. Al Hayes went up to New York and he wrestled there, not wrestled there, but he was a manager up there and did whatever the hell he was doing, some announcing. And he has since uh, retired and he lives out, I think, in uh, Texas somewhere. And uh, he came to a Cauliflower Alley Club, which is a meeting of old wrestlers and old boxers that takes place out in Las Vegas once a year. And uh, I went to the meeting in uh, 2000, I guess, and I knew Al was going to be there. So I met a couple different guys, and I said, uh, I hear Al's going to be here. Yeah, he's here. He's over there. And I turned around, I looked. We were at the, uh, where were we that day? Uh, mm -hmm. What? Uh, the we River, Riviera. Yeah, I think Riviera. it was. Riviera. Uh, yeah. Riviera, okay. And so we're down on the bottom floor where the slot machine's all over the damn place. And I said, You say he's here? Where? And I, and I looked around. He said, well, He's right over there. And I looked. I said, Where? And the only guy that I saw was all crippled up like this. I mean, hands are all screwed up, feet are screwed up. Couldn't believe it. It was Al Hayes. So that's what time has done. And uh, so I walked over to him. 
And I had no idea what the hell to say. I just, you know, the guy is all crippled up. I mean, it looked terrible. And I, he was an amateur at one time. In England, he was an amateur, and he was a pretty damn good one. So here he is reduced to this uh, hands all screwed up, uh, feet all screwed It was terrible. It made me want to cry. So I walked up to him, and I said, Al, and he looked up like this at me, and he said, Oh, how's mother? <laughs> Ha! And I, it cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs>